The song Fallen. Some would say a collaboration redux to Long Overdue. It's actually a song that I had the pleasure of working with Gennaro on. Just a little backstory on the song. The song was actually written, I'm going to say in 2008. It was part of, it was a song that I recorded uh, entitled Fallen. It was an EDM track. I ended up recording that for a mixtape that I did. Uh, in around 2008. Obviously, you know, it's a song that never really saw the light of day. You know, back then in 2008, you weren't really able to, you know, put out music on streaming platforms and all that good stuff, right? So burned it on a CD, gave it out to your friends, sold it, see if you can get some, you know, some traction. And that's kind of where the song lived all those years. It was an EDM track? Um, Yeah, it was an EDM track. And heavy auto-tune, that was 2008 was like T-Pain, year of T-Pain. And, and I kind of <laughs> went OD, yeah, kind of OD on the, the auto-tune on it. Um, But, you know... It was a great hook, right? And um, and I th- yeah, I think that that's what that's the piece that was catchy, right? So so fast forward, you know, 2022, both Gennaro and I are back and forth for a couple of years trying to find a way to re-collaborate. We originally did a song in what year was it? And what was the name of the song? It was 2013, and we did uh, in my heart. Yes, in my heart. Yep, for NSR's volume two, right? Compilation. Yeah, right, yeah. Yep. Yeah, and that, and that was fun. And, and there's a cool story to that, too. Um, and Gennaro always tells it grace. I'm, I'm going to turn it over to you, brother. Yeah, so, yeah, Lou had um actually reached out to me. And he says, hey, I'm working on this uh, track. And I think you'd be good for the track. And I'm like, he's like, I would like to get you on. And I'm like, and I think at the time, Ty Bless was supposed to be on this track with us. If I'm not. Yeah, yeah, memory that, sounds, that sounds right. right. That sounds right. Yeah, yeah. And you were like, um, and I was like, wait a minute, um, me? And you were like, yeah, you're Gennaro, right? I said, yeah, I know I'm Gennaro, but are you sure you're looking for me? Because people often confuse me and my partner. They don't know who sings what. So and you were like, and you actually said one of one of our songs back. And you were like, yeah, you're the guy who sings this. You're the one I'm looking for. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were like, you think my voice would fit good with yours for the uh, track. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And, you know, I later got to know your writing, right? Because, I mean, at that time, I was just basing it on the vocal and, and yes. your style. And I thought the song that, that you know, I was putting together was a good fit. And so I think the way the story goes, I recorded my parts. I uh, ended up sending you your the song. I think you went over to to your uh, to your one and only um, producer that you go to for all your stuff. And Rob, you- better Rob Federici, <laughs> the Polygon, yep, and you recorded your parts there, and and the song is great, man. It's actually one of my favorite songs I've ever recorded, um, and a lot has to do for me with the writing. Yeah, yeah, because you, you wrote your verse, and I wrote I wrote my verse because you were like, well, just see what you come up with and listen to it because you didn't want us to like, I guess, like kind of influence where the other one went, and that was kind of how it was. So, yeah, exactly. So. Great. Long story short, we ended up, you know, finishing the track. Uh, it gets released on NSR Volume 2. And from my understanding, it, it was one of the successful songs off that compilation. Very proud of it. Loved it. Um, but, uh, you know, fast forward to 2022, we are find ourselves, you know, trying to find time to kind of recreate the magic and and get on a track together. And, and now it's been a lot of years now, right? 2013, we're talking maybe, you know, seven, eight years of trying to connect and uh and we and we finally did and it's kind of almost the same formula right i you know i said hey jenner i got this track actually i've sent you a couple of tracks different songs things but um yeah and the first one which um i thought was going to be the one because i wrote some great stuff to it and <laughs> then um that one wound up not being being the one but the, the stuff i wrote still exists so maybe we can we can revisit it so yeah. even yeah. though uh, your hook, which was great, again, is, is now gone. But the uh, the verses that I wrote are still there, and we could probably use it for something else. Yeah. But yeah, kind of, you send me a bunch of stuff, and we always see like what what we connect with and what speaks to us. So, yep, exactly. So I sent General the track, um, and I think I sent you with I sent it to you with the hook already for Fallen. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so I so you you got it. I mean, what were your thoughts and thought process around that? Yeah, when I heard it, I was like, man, I was like, this hook is. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And you were like, and you were saying like you wanted to write something. And I was like, oh, I'm going to see what I hear. And then we both came up with different things. And um, at first I liked what I came up with, right? Well, I won't skip too far into the story, but I came up with something. You came up with something. And then I was like, I didn't feel like what you came up with was the right vibe for that hook. Like I thought that the hook was so good 
that we needed something that was like, you know, it had to be as as good as it or captured the mood better, right? And I was like, no, I said, like, what you wrote is good, but it's not, it's not for that. And then we were like, well, we're going to get together. <laughs> and we were going to uh, put our heads together, literally like get in a studio with each other and see what comes out of it. And that's kind of what happened. Yeah, and, that, and that's actually a story in itself, right? Because that's something that's, well, I'm I'm gonna say rare in these days because of technology and the ability to record in different studios across the you know the world and be able to send stuff to each other. Yeah. Part of the thought process for us is there's no substitute for being in the same room and kind of vibing off each other. And we oh. thought that this was you know you're in Georgia, I'm in Florida, hop, skip, and a jump. You know, you come down and we get to spend a weekend in the studio. Uh, you know, just just collaborating and. And I'll speak for me that the process for collaborating for Fallen um, was a lot of fun, give and take, a lot of fun vibing, something that I missed. Um, you know, you and I, the, the cool thing about you and I is that we both come from groups, like that we've been in groups kind of all our life. And so we're used to that process, right? You know, collaborating in a studio and co-writing and being while, you know, being in the same studio while you're recording vocals to be able to, you know, correct each other or suggest or like those kind of things. So yeah, I've missed yeah. that. I'm sure you missed that. I, I did. I did. It's um, like you said, like I came into the game that way, like you came into the game that way. And like I've always had another person that, you know, I was creating with, or like you said, bouncing these ideas off of, or, you know, getting inspiration on the spot. Like, yo, it'd be cool if you do this. I don't know, how about I do this? And how about, like, it's always, it's like a thing where normally you're listening back and you're listening and you're doing it and you're like, oh, what I think about this? And you're revisiting, revisiting. And is there something about that spontaneous, in the moment magic when you're bouncing these things off of another person who like, shares your artistic capabilities right <laughs> and it's like um it, i don't know it's just a it's a thing that it's hard to explain and i wish people who weren't you know musicians and singers and songwriters they we could explain this to them and they would get like that it's almost like i said it's a, it's a it's a joy that comes out of it because it's almost like um i always say like if you're if you play sports right like when your your, your friend is like a dope player and you know you're a dope player and you know, you know, you, I'm going to pass it this way and then this is going to happen and he's going to do this. It's like that kind of thing's happening from a writing and musical standpoint. And it's like just the excitement that comes out of that is just one of the things that's just hard to put into words. Yeah, I, I can't agree more. And, and you know, just to give, I guess, listeners a kind of an insight onto what our process was, you know, it's really people think sometimes, you know, songwriting is either a combative process, right? I want to get my lyrics into the first verse or second verse. I want to sing these parts, um, you know, and it's really when, when the mood is right, when the respect is there, when um, there is uh, gratitude for the talent that's in the room, that kind of goes out the window and is, it becomes what's best for the song, right? So I don't, I don't remember at any point you and I working on Fallen thinking about who's going to sing this line or who's going to do this or we just whatever worked for the song you know what i'm saying that and that's how it felt and that's how it should be yes and that's and that's always been my um my my you know my mo right my, my modus operandi i've always been like what's best for the song it's never been about oh i need to be here or it's this or it's that and it's like you know and even this couple of times you're like well you you're gonna go sing that like you want me to go sing that like i didn't even know like it was <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> And, um, you know, and that's, a, uh, you know, like you said, it's, it's, it's just a, it's a great thing because it's like what makes this song come together the right way? Not about, you know, it's about nobody going into it with no ego, with no preconceived notions of, you know, I'm going to be here. I need to be here. It wasn't it wasn't that we let the song we let the song dictate it. And that's, um, you know, and it, like you said, it's a it's something magical about that. Yeah, exactly. And so, you know, just to give folks a kind of idea what the song is about, you know, it's about a relationship and what freestyle song isn't about relationships. But, uh, you know, it, it's about a relationship and how you're trying to rekindle, find what was once was, but you're falling away I and mean, you're hoping that someday you can rekindle it. And that's kind of what the gist of the song is about. But I think if you, when you listen to it, we did extract some of the old verse lyrics from the original song. Um, and we started building around it, right? We grabbed some lines that worked. We kind of made it fit to our styles and, and was able to deliver it. And so, you know, it's, uh, like I said, for me, it's it's a rebirth of a song that was near and dear to my heart. 
and it just uh, brings me great joy to see it kind of, you know, a rebirth of of some sorts, right? You know, it, it, so from my perspective, is a, a little different, right? Because I have some history with the song, and to see where yeah. it came from to where it's at now, um, I have even a more appreciation for it, and and just the whole process of of recording with you. Yeah, well, that's dope because you know, like you said, when we have a song, right, and you kind of become married to it in your mind a certain way, and the fact that I could get together with you on this and give it new life and breathe excitement into it, you know, I'm. I'm honored by that. You know, I'm flattered by that because, you know, again, you put something that you created, you had care and you trusted enough in me to help you bring this new vision out of it. And, you know, I'm, I don't take that kind of stuff uh, lightly. So, you know, I, I, I thank you for that. And I just want to let you know, like I told you, that, I appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate you getting on the song. I think we made something. I don't want to use that over <laughs> that overused uh, term of freestyle, but I think we got some fire here. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I hope the fan agree because uh, it definitely um, it, it it lit something in me when we were doing it, and uh, I hope that same reaction happens to the people who get to hear it. Amen to that. All right. Well, without further ado, here's Fallen. This is CPR Jose Ortiz, Mr. Exclusive Freestyle Premiere on CPR's Clubhouse Freestyle Universe. This is CPR Jose Ortiz, Mr. Exclusive Freestyle Premiere on CPR's Clubhouse Freestyle Universe.
premiere on CPR's Clubhouse Freestyle Universe. This is CPR Jose Ortiz, Mr. Exclusive Freestyle Premiere on CPR's Clubhouse Freestyle Universe.